What's up guys, it's Tina from Hangry by Nature. Today we are going to continue our Melbourne to Sydney road trip via the coastal route. If you missed our last video, it covered the best spots to stop in Victoria, which you can check out right up here. But now we're gonna go on to cover some of the most beautiful places in New South Wales that you can't miss. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. stop on our road trip which saw us crossing the border of Victoria to New South Wales was Eden. It's about a three hour drive from Lakes Entrance. Let me tell you something, Eden took us by surprise and it was a very pleasant surprise because this little town is absolutely stunning. It's so gorgeous. The town is situated on a little bit of a hill on a slope overlooking the ocean and the beach. It's just stunning. If there's anywhere I want to retire, I think I'd want to retire in Eden. The town just gives off a really warm and pleasant feeling. The locals are so friendly. And the best thing, the weather is pretty mild and moderate all year round. So no cold, four season Melbourne weather. Hell yeah. Eden is surrounded by the Ben Boyd National Park to the north and south with some of the most flow, where you'll find some beautiful hiking trails. The town also has a working port so you can see fishermen return in the morning with fresh catch of the day. The highlight for us was staying at Reflections Holiday Park in Eden, nestled between Lake Corallo and Asling Beach. It's perfectly located so you can enjoy all the beach activities, go for a dip and swim, and also bask in the beautiful nature that surrounds you. We stayed inside one of their two bedroom villas which featured a fully equipped kitchen, a double bunk bed for the kids, a large double bed for us, a bathroom, and a really spacious living area. But without a doubt, the best thing about the park is its location and all of its facilities. There's a really awesome playground that's located pretty much right next to all the barbecue facilities so you can barbecue away and chill outside while the kids play at the playground and leave you in peace basically. You can also go fishing and kayaking, play ball in the huge outdoor space that's available or simply just chill out on the grass in front of the lake and just watch the sunset. It is so, so amazing. They have all the common facilities such as shower, laundry, dining and cooking areas, as well as a common area for internet access. All in all, this was our second holiday park experience and I can definitely say we'll be back to experience more because it's just the perfect space for family travelers, for couples as well, any type of traveler really, we really enjoyed ourselves at Reflections Holiday Park. Aside from villas, they've also got powered and non-powered sites for campers, RVs and caravans. To see more reviews and prices on this place, make sure you check out the link in the description below. We really recommend exploring the town of Eden for its history, especially in the past because Eden was a base to hunt killer whales for oils and whales would often make their way down to Twofold Bay to feed. If you're interested in more of that, it probably might be worth checking out the Eden Killer Whale Museum in the center of town. Nature lovers, rejoice because Ben Boyd Park is an attraction that is not to be missed when you're in the area. While you're there, be sure to check out Ben Boyd Tower, Disaster Bay Lookout, Green Cape Lighthouse and Pulpit Rock. Now we didn't get around to seeing all of these attractions within Ben Boyd Park because the National Park is massive and it's a little tough to get around, especially if you don't have a four-wheel drive. Because once you go deeper inside, the roads are pretty much just rocks and dirt, which is more suited for four-wheel drives, but for people who drive sedans like us, we had to drive super slow, so it takes a long time to get around. And in the end, we kind of gave up and turned around because it was just taking too long to get anywhere and we really didn't want to damage a car that wasn't ours. 
our four stop and mine and probably everyone else's absolute favorite stop was Hyams Beach in Jarvis Bay. What can I say? It's probably the most amazing beach I've ever been to in my entire life. The drive from Eden to Hyams Beach within Jarvis Bay was about four hours long, but we made a stop in between in Burmage Way to basically stretch our legs and check out this amazing, incredible, breathtaking natural pool. It's called the Blue Pool and it basically sits on a cliff's edge and overlooks the ocean and you can basically swim in it, walk around the rocky sort of cliffside. It's absolutely stunning. There are also tables where you can bring a picnic and just bring some food and drinks and just chill there in this amazing setting. If you left Eden early in the morning, you'll probably arrive at Hyams Beach by sometime in the late afternoon, depending on how tolerable the kids are, if you've got kids. Everything takes longer with kids. Hyams Beach is ranked pretty much the number one whitest sand beach on this entire planet. The first time we set foot on the beach, it was an incredible feeling. Like the sand is so, so soft. It's just so fine and just feels amazing, really. I mean, we've been to many beaches around the world and one of the whitest sand beaches I've seen was Eagle Beach in Aruba in the Caribbean. But this sand is even whiter and finer than that. But it's not just Hyams Beach that's the main attraction. The entire area of Jarvis Bay has many stunning beaches that you can hike along and explore along the coast. And they're all beautiful. Hyams Beach is just the most popular one, which will also see it being very crowded if you're going in peak times in the summer or school holidays. We stayed in Hyams Beach for four nights because we really wanted to take our time to explore the area and basically just chill at the beach for a little bit. The place we stayed at was called Bootery Lodge. It's literally a two or five minute walk from the famous Hyams Beach. It's located on a hill, so it has some really breathtaking views that overlook the bay and the ocean and Hyams Beach. The best thing about Bootery Lodge is that it is perfect for big families or even multiple families. I mean, the house, the lodge itself has five bedrooms, so it could easily squeeze in two families. Or you could even squeeze in another family, considering the living room has so many couches that people can basically sleep on. Or if you're just sick of the kids, just kick them into the living room or kick yourself into the living room, whatever you prefer. There's two bathrooms, one upstairs and one downstairs and a huge kitchen plus a dining area and a big balcony outside where you can sit and chill or even have dinner. And on the other side, there's a barbecue and another table. So there's definitely a lot of space we made use of. For us, the highlight was pretty much the location and just waking up to a view that you just wanna wake up to for the rest of your life. There are heaps of hiking trails in Jarvis Bay that lead to some of the most secluded and beautiful beaches. If you're an outdoor nature lovers, there's Bootery National Park that you can go hike in, dolphin boat tours, and Point Perpendicular Lighthouse for some of the most amazing views overlooking Jarvis Bay. We also stumbled upon a really kid-friendly beach. It's by Moona Moona Creek, and it basically is a creek that sort of seeps off into the ocean and the water's really shallow there and safe. There's no rough waves or anything like that. So if you're traveling with young kids, that's definitely worth a stop as you can enjoy the creek side and the beach side. Close by in Vincentia is a newly built shopping centers which will cater to all your shopping and grocery needs as well as an amazing fish and chip store that you can grab food from and other cafes and restaurants. Hyams Beach is perfect for a small family getaway to enjoy one of Australia's most beautiful beaches. And if you're making your way up from Melbourne to Sydney on the coastal drive, you definitely have to stop here. You cannot miss this place. The final leg of the trip from Hyams Beach to Sydney takes about two and a half hours, depending on whether you're gonna make another stop in between or not. But if you have the time, I do highly recommend stopping in Kayama. It's another little beautiful small coastal town with one of its main attractions being the blowhole. And there's also a lighthouse. And the town of Kayama is really cute and the locals are once again really friendly and they make some really awesome coffee in there as well. Definitely recommend a stop there. 
If you're heading into central Sydney, be sure to add in some extra time considering traffic in the CBD or in the city area of Sydney can get pretty bad. Before we close the chapter on our Melbourne to Sydney road trip, I wanted to go through some essential travel tips and must knows if you're planning to do the coastal route. The road, is it safe? We didn't come across any bad roads on our way up there. Everything was really smooth, the highways and everything like that. The only thing you'll come across most likely is roadworks, which will probably delay you by a little bit and you'll have to go through some sort of dirt roads, but nothing too dramatic. Everything is really safe. For international visitors, very important to note that we drive on the left-hand side in Australia, so be sure to keep on the left and if you're traveling with kids be sure to have the correct child restraints in the car because it is required by law to have your children properly restrained in the car with child seats baby seats etc and of course don't forget your international license or a translated version of your local license if it's not in English if you need more information on driving in Australia it's best to Google it. Now it's very important to be weary of Australian school holiday times because if you can, you want to avoid traveling during that time because it is insanely busy because everyone's got the same idea. Everyone wants to head to the beach. Accommodation becomes very limited and expensive. Beaches get extremely crowded and everything in town just gets super busy. So make sure you Google the Australian school holiday periods and Try to avoid those when possible. And if you can't, make sure you book well in advance to avoid disappointment. If you don't want to travel from Melbourne to Sydney via the coastal route, you can of course take the inland route, which is also scenic, but you don't get the beautiful coast and ocean, which makes a huge difference to me, to be honest. The direct route will take you approximately 10 hours depending on how many stops you make along the way. There are a lot of nice towns to visit on the way when you're taking the inland route, but I do highly recommend taking the coastal route because you don't want to miss the whitest sand beach in the world, do you? Plus, it's just a great way of seeing some of Australia's most beautiful beaches and historic towns. And that's it guys, those are some of our best travel tips if you are planning to do the Belbin to Sydney drive via the coast. To me, it was definitely one of our most scenic drives we have ever done. And I would highly recommend it to anyone who's considering it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I don't know why I did that, but make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with all of our latest travel videos and more family friendly guides on Australia. And give this video a big fat like if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. That's the best way to support our channel. Before I jet off, I would like to know one thing. What is the most beautiful beach you have ever been to in your entire existence? Our two would have to be definitely Hyams Beach up there and Eagle Beach in Aruba. Drop a comment below to let us know what your favorite beach in the world is. Until then, we'll see you on the flip side. Laters. Angry, hungry. Yes, I'm angry. Me, they can't